over 60 million people were killed during World War II. The stories of those who survived have been spread around the world ever since, but one story has been forgotten, the story of the comfort women. Hundreds of thousands of Korean women as young as 11 years old were forcefully taken by the Japanese government to serve as sexual slaves for the Imperial Army. Kept in so-called comfort stations, they were subject to inhuman and degrading forms of sexual violence, repeated rape and mutilation. Many did not survive the brutality. Some were executed after the war ended, and the rest lived in shame for decades. Finally, in 1992, a group of them took a stand. What do we want? Every Wednesday since 1992, survivors gather in front of the Japanese embassy in Seoul, South Korea, demanding an apology. Their story is still not heard. Comfort women have been a subject for many artists. The Harriet and Kenneth Cuthbert Holocaust Resource Center and Archives at Queensborough College, in conjunction with the Korean American Voters Council, has initiated an exhibit, Come From the Shadows, The Comfort Women, to raise awareness and gain support in their fight for justice. What are you hoping to accomplish with the exhibition? Well, art could be a powerful thing, and uh, with the exhibition, uh, we're hoping to at least let people know. Uh, I don't know how many people in America know about Comfort Women, and I think uh, our art could speak for them. A lot of people who are not aware about this issue, I hoped people come to this exhibition, they will aware about the happen. Our main goal is like let other people know about it, and knowledge is make a power, and then um, we will get uh, better tomorrow, right? Because of that, that's my goal. Two of the survivors are with us here. They flew today from Seoul, Korea, and they want to share their stories with us. In Korea, I had six brothers, one older and five younger. I was the only daughter. I was 15 when I was forcefully taken away at night. And uh, I was taken to Taiwan where Kamikaze uh, was a station. I was told to go into a small room for the soldier and I refused. They took me by my hair and uh, they forced me into the room. They kicked me and they even used a knife on me and uh, they use electric shock on me to make me obey. I was 15 and um, I uh, was uh, uh, made a housekeeper at somebody else's household. I was taken to the so I was sent out for an errand and uh, on my way back um, to the um, household that I was working for, suddenly all of a sudden two men approached me and they didn't even ask me where are you going or you know they didn't tell me anything, they just grabbed 
my arm, one person on each side, and they, tr tr they started dragging me away. So on the very same day, I was taken to China. Kurata, so finally, one soldier showed up and asked us, why are you guys um, acting out like this? And we told them that, you know, uh, my parents are waiting, uh, our parents are waiting. Why did you take us um, from the street um, so that, um, you know, my parents don't know where, where we are. We want to go home. Th then the soldier said, okay, I will take you home. So we were so happy. We were excited. So we were so happy to follow the soldier um, away from that um, airport where we were staying. And we thought we were going home, but then the place he took us was the conversation. <laughs>